wanted to help others see that there's there's value, there's personal value in video games, and I, I don't want people to be ashamed of it. Let me just start off by saying that this is not how I usually make videos. If this is the first video you're seeing on my channel, this is not what it usually is. It's, you don't usually see my face at all, actually. It's more so jump cut essay style gaming videos with a comedic hint thrown in there every now and then. But speaking of that, I didn't have a place to be honest and upfront, so I wanted to make a couple videos still, still related to gaming. Don't worry, this isn't a complete stray from everything I'm doing, but it's just a place where we can have more of a conversation, more of an open talk about things. So I wanted to start making these videos so I could have a open, honest conversation without all the flashy effects, without all the jump cuts, probably not nearly as funny, but a place to have a discussion with you guys, or just the gaming community in general. Who knows, this might just be the only one of these videos and it just crashes and burns, but if you're looking for a gaming related video, it does, it does come back around to gaming. I swear, just hang in there. I wanted to talk about my place in gaming and how gaming has helped me overcome so, so much in the past year. I went through a bit of a hard time in the past year, and to sum it up really fast, the TLDR version, is I got a job that I ended up being very unhappy with. I had been more depressed and anxious than I ever been in my whole life. And just keeping up with those mental battles outside of work, I was constantly exhausted or I was constantly sick and had migraines. It was terrible. And on top of that, I was running a graphic design business on the side. And after working an eight hour shift of the day, I would come home and do that. So my days typically ended up being about 12 and to 16 hours long sometimes. The worst part is that I started to get frustrated with the people I live with, my, my family, my girlfriend Beth, it was just, it was, everything was kind of crumbling. So I ended up quitting that job because I decided that overall I wasn't happy there and I, if, if I could change that, if I could do something, I would regret it if I stayed there. So I quit and I went to just go try and pursue other things. I, it sounds a bit hippie-ish, but I went on a journey of self-discovery in that time, reading books, uh, doing meditation, looking up different uh, natural medicines to take, uh, anything you could think of I was doing it. But the most important one is that I started to play video games again for the first time in a long time. See, I, I told you this would come back around to gaming. Now, before I did this, I could hardly play four hours a week, like across the, the span of an entire week. I could hardly play four hours, which seems insane for someone who's associated with like gaming culture because gaming culture is typically associated with people spending almost 10 to 20 hours a day playing video games. It's, it's an addiction. People have rehabs for that. And I could hardly stomach playing four hours a week, sometimes less than that. I actually started to despise video games a little bit because I considered them so unproductive and in the end of everything, spoiler turned out to be the exact opposite of that. I decided to plunge myself into a bunch of games that I was unfamiliar with. I was playing the same old games. I played Overwatch for countless hours at that point in time, but I decided to plunge myself into games like uh, Persona 5, who I've never played Persona before, uh, Monster Hunter World, and I've never played a Monster Hunter game before. I actually made a video on Monster Hunter's replayability. It should be up there, it should be up there. I don't know, I don't know how cards work, but you should check it out. There was something I started to notice while playing these games, and that was I was beginning to enjoy myself again. Now, if you're familiar with everybody's good old friend depression, you know that the things that you used to find fun, you hardly find fun at all sometimes. And that was exactly my case when it came to gaming. But this time around, it started to spark something in me. Not only that, but I noticed how uh, fi fired up I got and how quickly my anxiety and depressions kind of dissipated and they went below the surface when I was in conversations, talking about games, or if I was doing anything, really anything related to nerd culture, whether that's movies, um, gaming, writing, anything that revolved around that, I could have a healthy conversation with somebody and actually feel excited and feel all these emotions while having conversations about that. So after some help realizing something from my therapist, I chose to pursue that. I chose to embrace the fact that I was feeling something from this. I started to get a lot more involved in gaming, doing while playing more during the week, more than four hours at least, while I was trying to run my own graphic design business on the side. And the more I played, the more I enjoyed myself, the more I started to relax. And that was something that was so, like I had lost that. I had lost the ability to 
relax and enjoy myself and have a good time for a while. And on top of that, I found myself finding stuff to take away from each game. I found myself learning something from each game, but it was it was funny because it was the games that weren't in my my comfort zone. It wasn't like the classic FPS or the AAA games. It was Night in the Woods, Persona 5, like I said before, Monster Hunter World. Those games that I hadn't, I wouldn't have even batted an eye at before. Each one of them taught me something new and that was, it was something that I couldn't just, I couldn't teach myself on my own. I couldn't just learn it through therapy and I certainly couldn't find that through medication. Video games were slowly but surely helping me fight the battle against my mental illnesses. That is exactly why I make these videos now. That's exactly why I make the essay videos. That's exactly why I'm making this video right now because I found a true, true passion, something that lit a fire in me and I wanted to chase that. I wanted to harness that. So I wanted to find a place in the gaming community, in the gaming industry somewhere where our I could be an active part of all of this. It took me a while and a couple failed attempts at essays, rants, reviews, opinion pieces, let's plays, streaming, anything under the gaming sun. I tried it and more likely failed at it. It, it hit me when I was, I was writing a blog post about Borderlands 3 on Tumblr and I was making posts about it on Twitter and I was using like an analytical style mixed with a comedic style and I realized that that's the way that I like to naturally write and present information so that's that's how I wanted to be a part of the community I wanted to start discussions and that's what I plan on doing with these videos I plan on creating videos that start discussions about games and how much I love unique certain pieces of each game and how each game deserves to be appreciated in its own certain way. Just like how I started to learn something new in every game that I played, I wanted to help others achieve that. I wanted to help others see that there's there's value, there's personal value in video games and I, I don't want people to be ashamed of it because I know I was and this really helped me overcome that. As long as you're not spending 10 hours a day pounding back Doritos and Mountain Dew, I think you're good. You don't really have anything to be ashamed of. Hello, people of the internet. Thank you for stopping by on this really weird video, this really weird out of place video on my channel, but hey, I appreciate it nonetheless. I feel like there are a lot of stories to tell in the gaming community. There's a lot of stories from my experiences with gaming. And I'm hoping that these videos can help kind of kickstart a discussion about that. Maybe I can learn other people's stories and you can hear a bit of mine. I want to be a, a strong component of that community. And hey, if I can shatter some stigma along the way, you know, and win. If you are interested in gaming videos, you might just like videos that aren't like this, that are usually on my channel. They're more opinion essay style formats and you could go check them out over there, here, somewhere down below, up above, who knows. As always, hit the subscribe button if you want to hear more of my voice. Hit the like, the dislike button, let me know if you like or dislike it. It helps me so much when you guys let me know that stuff. Last but not least, hit that little notification bell thing down there somewhere. It might just let you know if I upload a video. Sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. Who knows? Thank you again so much for watching. I love each and every one of you. And I will see you in the next video. Catch you later. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my voice. See more of my voice, that's just dumb.